typically when school gets out, we do see some uptick in gang activity, some uptick in violence. Um, school just got out. Uh, with hot weather, oftentimes we see sometimes an uptick. We obviously have got some pretty warm weather. With the rise in the number of young lives lost or injured and the number of those young individuals committing crimes, this has got the attention of more than just the local police. I can assure you that uh, the FBI, ATF, United States Marshal Service, and the Omaha Police Department, as well as the State Patrol in Douglas County, are all collectively working and addressing this. The Omaha Police Department has various programs for prevention and intervention, like PACE and Operation NETS. But community organizations like U-Turn are doing what they can to help put individuals on the right path. Each person, getting them to that space where they understand their part in it and their part in making it better. Um, those are the things that we strive for. Teresa is the executive director of U-Turn, and she says the pandemic did not help the issue at all. Having a whole year of keeping kids indoors and away from friends is tough. Right now, we have um, programs, like I said, that have either had to close their doors or modify the way that they work with young people. And, um, and you have young people who don't have a, a good feel for how to handle conflict. And um, that's what we're seeing. Captain Schaefer with OPD says anyone possessing a gun under the age of 18 is illegal, and the community can play a big part in preventing these tragic deaths by reporting it. Any juveniles, any young people you see carrying guns, possessing guns, talking about guns, let us know. Let us get there. Let us use our resources and ensure that we get that gun off the street. You could do it anonymously, like I said, through Crime Stoppers and uh, potentially get a reward out of it, but also help keep this community safe. In Omaha, Ariana Martinez, 3 News Now.